420. That's cheap as shit. Hey, Omi. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, jeez. This head was very good. I don't know if you got in or not. Nah. That bag's a little wet. How the fuck can they afford to sell this like that? You think there's fake, there's fake paint? I don't know. Dude, it's literally like $246 for this is nothing. You know, when I bought it three years ago? 60 day return. It was thousand dollars. You could return don't, it. Don't. Oh, but look at the shipping's 94. Don't. That's still fucking, it's still cheaper than anything ever. It's just, you just said do it. I'm not, you're not answering the question I'm asking them. Is there fake yeah. paint? Yeah, who knows? They have one to, product You're telling me just dude. to fucking order it. It also <laughs> says that it take, it'll take till February to get here. Jesus. Yeah, but look, you gotta just look at the seller rating, I think. Oh, 1800 star I know, rating. I know, eBay works. I'm just saying. I feel it's legit then. But now that one's Why do you feel like it's legit? I can go in here and find fake Yeezys right now that have fucking 10 star ratings. Because people fucking have no idea what they're talking about. I don't understand. Oh. There's mad people on eBay that don't know shit about shit. It's like as long as he has some stars by his name, you just get order. Trust the stars. You're fucking Does he have a Twitter page? Here, let me I legit check. It has 100% positive feedback. 100% positive feedback. Tell me these are not real. The point is your eBay rating don't mean shit. Well, then let's, then, then let's hold off on the paint. We'll find it in hand. Let's go to Japan. Here, I'll cut the camera here, then we'll cut to the airport, and then we'll be on our way to Japan. You want something to do today? Let's go get some acrylics. I got the passport back at the crib. <laughs> Ridiculous. And you're not serious. You'd be like, if I was like, all right, you'd be like, uh, no, Brand. do it, do it, dog. Brand. Tempt me. Brand. Tempt me, I'll tell Brand I'm going to Japan. This place has the set. See, this is normal. Yeah. It's $950, it's been marked down to 570. That makes more sense. Just a little ass art store in Vermont. Yeah. Who's <laughs> like, we've got all this paint just sitting here. They're gonna be like, someone ordered the full set? Car wallet lost. Where's my jacket? Might need to go to the art store anyway. Okay. Yeah, we do. To eat this 50 milligrams. And then it's Twitch time. Right here. Just try with him. Make sure it's 50, not 100. It's like 55. You're eating 50 milligrams because it's an art day. Yeah, art yeah. day. Let's get creative. <laughs> what? Like a shop, like, you know, right again. Sellers, take note, stop undercutting price. Let buyers come in price. Don't be dumb, these should be selling for 350 plus. No, they fucking should. Like, what world do yeah. you live in? What old boost to sell for 350 plus? Like, yeah. wh when? When was the last fucking time? Like, please. Some kid said to me this and it's, morning, he goes, those triple blacks are going for 400 right now. I said, maybe right now. I said, in a month, they'll where? be going for fucking 200 Where are they going for 400 Because someone asked for $400? Well, that, that's what Who's I Who's buying it for 400 Like, people are fucking crazy. It's not like what it was. Like, 350 for an Ultra Boost is not happening. Yeah. Not anytime soon. Yeah. Like, what are these people thinking? Yeah, unless it's something special. What? Give me something. Like, uh, dude. I bet you can pick an Ultra Boost off of that wall in there and I can find it for less than 350. Like, if it's not a 1.0 and not a fuck, like, you know, not SNS. But I mean, the last SNS I bet is that much. 350. Mm -hmm. I bet the Chinese yeah. New Year from last year is and that the much. The rating champs are probably about 350. Yeah, they're all probably around like a little bit under it. You know, that's what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these aren't even in hand yet. Yeah. These dropped fucking two days ago on one website. Yeah. Nobody has them in fucking hand. They're about to re-release in like six other fucking stores. Like, why does this dude think that? And here's the fucking kicker to me. My man sells carts. My man sells carts. So how the fuck are you gonna tell people what they should be, like, you're the one that gives them access to the shoe and now you're yeah. trying to say that, you, because he can't. Because what happens is it fucks him. Because if he charges you $100 for a cart and the resale's not, he, he his business model is cracks all in it. Yeah, that's why. Kids don't want to fuck with it. Shit is whack. Sellers don't control resale. But that's what, so he posted, the demand is there, stop driving the prices down, let buyers outbid each other, you hold the power, sellers. I tweeted. <laughs> sellers, no you don't. <laughs> Go, it's fine. Surprised he doesn't get scared. Look at his face. He's so confused. 
What like the fuck just happened? So am I tripping or were there just a hundred geese out here? Good man, homie. Oh! Omar. Leave it. Leave it! Boss. You were so crazy. To the art store. Are you looking for directions? Mm -hmm. It's literally like right down the street. I know, but it's the Broadway and Fifth. We're at tenth. Hey, Sager's picking me and Brandy up at 6:45 tomorrow. He says, it's the "Most uneventful car ride ever." Yeah, not a lot of jokes in this car ride. Yeah. No U-turns. So we gotta do these short trips. We'll start with the short ones, and then you'll get. Yeah, that's how we did it with dog up. training. You do a step at a time. You get that. You get that constant winning. You know. Yeah. Every time perfection, even if it's just a little journey, and then you know, that's for the wizard's chest. We're gonna park on this side for Minningers. All right. Here we go. It's Dog, worse. it says no wizard chest parking. Oh. You just pulled up and said that's for the wizard chest. It literally has a big ass no. So, there we go. <laughs> training, training uh, didn't end well for my man. <laughs> Jesus, they only have two pieces. I guess it's a good thing I came today. Oh, sorry, sorry, I knocked you out on the way up. He's out here running into people. Hey, you better the fuck up off me. I'm trying to get my art on. Yep. Good stuff. We all keep the good stuff. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I said excuse me and I hit you. Daddy's anyway. done that twice. I've done it, yeah, I've done it two times. <laughs> At least it was a different person this time. I think it was a different person. Well, I'm glad we walked over here though. I need black. Black. Where is the black? Ooh, a little jacquard too would be nice. So oh, I'm out of precious. Secrets. I can't be giving her all my secrets. It's all for him, not me. I, I just model. He tore that up. <laughs> got caught. You got yeah, caught. Just in time. You got caught. I had to order new things for the floor because it won't come. Oh, shit. The steamer won't work. I'm tired after all that. Um, okay, so got a bunch of art supplies today. It's been an art day. Um, I spent a lot of money on art stuff, but honestly, uh, for any inspiring or inspire any aspiring artist out there, uh, or any aspiring anything, investment is the big investment is the word of the day. You can't make art without art supplies. Art supplies are expensive. Have a little faith in yourself, and um, yeah, you know, and if we're being honest, buying art supplies and creating stuff is much more beneficial official than buying shoes you're just gonna wear on your feet so if you gotta skip a release get some art stuff do that make your money back in a painting or two anyway and have plenty of stuff left over so first piece of advice spend the money but I mean, haven't started painting yet today I'm gonna do that the rest of the afternoon but I did want to go ahead and talk about shoes real quick we never talked about these even though it'll be quick and we're gonna to touch on some issues around the sneaker world so first off for all my busters in the building uh, there's the tag for my size 13 blue tints. I also got a pair for my mom and people were calling those fake. So just so you, one more look, uh, just so you can see. That's the box, the shoes over here. All right, blue tints. This is what the shoe looks like. It's too bright. Um, so yeah, blue tints, we've reviewed mini B2s. These fit 
pretty similar to me as the frozen yellows, so I can go true to size, but they're a little snug at first. If I wanted, I could take the insole out and it's fine, but the 13 on this is a little tighter than say like the breads, you know, but I've gone over that a few times, like just how the sizing is a little different in each one. I have no idea why. Uh, I think the blue tint colorway is super nice. Like, I didn't really on the internet, it's kind of like whatever, it came out with a lot of other shoes. So I was just sort of like, okay, yeah, when they get here, we'll take a look at them. But I, I, just like anyone else, got a little jaded just on V2s, just cause I'd seen so many yada, yada, yada. And it was just, but I do like this color in hand. I like this sort of slate blue with the gray. I think it's a nice colorway, super clean, a little bit easier to keep clean than say a white pair, but also I've said it before that I like the color usage on the V2s and how they're not really like out of the bottle colors, you know, different hues to them, different tones. So I do like that. I think it's a nice shoe. Love the colorway. Um, but we've gone over V2s a few times, but if you don't know, uh, this is the Yeezy V2. It has boost. It has boost windows. There's this clear cage that goes around the boost. The upper is a PK upper and on the inside there are suede panelings that add to the luxuriousness of the shoe and fit. Three stripes inside the heel. This is all nicely padded on the backside. Very comfortable shoe. Not nearly as comfortable as an Ultra Boost, but still super comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than a V1. Uh, but yeah, I love I love V2s. Um, laces that I had laced like this because I like it. Some people absolutely hate it, but I don't really care. It only comes with one set of laces, just like all other V2s. And then of course, your Supply 350. Think Pablo loves you 350. And then tab, da 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 da. So as far as review goes, we've reviewed v we've reviewed these, and you can just see. So I don't have a favorite V2. The main reason that I'm doing this video right now, or having this talk, because you guys have all seen this. This is one of the main things, though. It says earlier, the V2. This one, the blue tint has this crazy little line that you can see, which is kind of weird. I don't really love that, but it's not really noticeable. It's just a nitpick. But I mean, it's noticeable, but it's a nitpick. Uh, but the main reason. So there's a lot of videos on the internet about how resale is dead, um, Boost is dead, Yeezys are dead. It's a new time. Jordan's on his way back, Nike's on the comeback, uh, but the biggest and most idiotic thing that is said on the internet about shoes is that sellers control the market. And if you've been on my Twitter today, you know that I've been uh, clapping here and there on a few people just because of conversations that have started, uh, mostly with add to cart services, complaining about the price of resale, which is a contradicting position to be in. If you're an add to cart service, you're helping people get shoes for a fee. You're not really in the resale game. If you wanna be in the resale game, then you should shut down your add to cart service, get all of your money together, buy as many pairs of the same shoe that you want to control the market on and work on controlling the market. But you don't control shit if you don't own the commodity or at least have a pipeline for the commodity. The only person that I know that's have controlled the market, so to speak, in any way uh, is JC Lopez when the zebras dropped for the first time because my man got most of the pairs in his store that were on that side of the country. So that was controlling the market a little bit, but once they restocked, the market is no longer controlled. If the market could be controlled, then why the fuck is this shoe selling for $330? Why don't all of you resellers get together and band together in some sort of union since you control the market so well? But you don't because you don't control anything. You don't control the information that people can get to start their own add to cart services. You don't control the shoe itself. You don't control the restocks and you don't control the fucking customers who have to actually desire your product to buy them. Not even your product, the product that you just picked up first. I'm not denying the fact that add to cart and people who run bots have a different level of access to shoes that the regular consumer doesn't have. But that doesn't change the fact that after you get the shoe, if nobody is paying paying X amount of dollars, you can stand there and wave the shoe in the air until you fucking turn blue in the face. It's not gonna change the fact that the going rate for a shoe is another price. And the reason this whole start is because of the Chinese New Year's, because some people think that that shoe should be selling for over 350 when it absolutely is not going to sell for that anytime soon. It just has to be like logic in all of this. I fuck with add to cart services. When I can't get something, which is super rare, or I wanna double up on something, which isn't that rare, uh, I use a service because I don't have fucking time to sit there and wait in line. Absolutely ridiculous to think in any way 
you having the product in your hand and saying $1,000 over and over again is going to make it worth $1,000. The people have to value it at that. And you complaining about it and you like yelling at other sellers or calling people broke boys or whatever the fuck. Just get over it, dude. Like, take the money that you do make off of resale and be happy with it. Like, that's it. Find yourself a different avenue because it's just a silly, silly argument. Like, if there was a, if, if sellers controlled the market, we wouldn't have customer service agents. You have to kind of pick. You know, if you're an add to cart service, your whole business model is you're charging a fee to get people the shoes. What resale is after that really doesn't matter. The only reason that an add to cart service wouldn't want you to, wouldn't want resale to die is because they could only charge, they can only charge so much for their service. So if resale is only $40 above retail, what are they gonna be able to charge you? So that, that's the motive and seller is trying to say they when a seller tweets out or says like don't sell for below da 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 we control the market you are literally showing us that you don't control the market because you are begging your peers to bring their prices up so that your profits can get where you need them to be for whatever made up fucking scenario you have in your life have you seen ebay why is ebay not out of stock i don't understand i thought sellers can what and then why do the car dealerships get busier when they run a deal? Hmm, it's interesting. But that doesn't have anything to do with the fact that if people don't want the shoe, it doesn't matter. And your inability as a reseller to not be able to read the market and not know what people are gonna pay for something is your problem. It's not anybody else's problem, you know? Like, I'm sorry, it's just not. But the days of Ultra Boost reselling for three, four, five hundred dollars are few and far between. It's really aggravating to see on the left side of people's mouth saying boost is dead. Which why do you think they're saying boost is dead? It's because they can't make money off of it anymore. And on the right side of their mouth telling me they control resale. So here's my challenge to you, Mr. Reseller, who's probably typing some sort of comment about how I look or whatever the fuck. Uh, then make this shoe a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys bind together and if you guys can make blue tents a thousand bucks by let's say the end of fucking January, I'll shut down my goddamn YouTube channel and sell all my shit. But I know that you fucking won't do it because you can't do it because you don't control anything. Stars and the dollar signs in your eyes, but you know, your desire don't change the fucking facts. Like it's just what it is. The answer is nobody controls the market. The market is the fucking market. The seller doesn't control the market. The buyer doesn't control the market. Somewhere in the middle is a happy medium called commerce. Not even fucking six months ago, these shoes that were very similar to this were selling for $1,700. So again, it would look to me as if you've lost control of the market. We wouldn't have the term bricks because the only reason you call it a brick it's because you thought the shit was gonna sell and it didn't. Uh, the camera is broken. So the camera, there's not a lot of super footage today because the camera has been turning off and on. And it'll take a fully charged battery and literally you put it in and then it says there's no charge. And then when you take the battery out, all the charge is gone. It's all just some fucking wild shit. So probably got to buy a new camera here in the next couple of days, which I really don't want to do, but it's most likely gonna have to happen because this one is hanging on by a thread. Speaking of hanging on by a thread, Resellers. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Here's the uh, EZ350 V2 uh, blue tint. Have a great time with your turtle dove memories and your 750 uh, 750 wishes, but uh, that shit's over. But anyway, that's the day. I gotta get to painting and drawing, waiting on this new mop piece for my house, and uh, yeah, getting ready to go snowboard tomorrow. Sager vlog tomorrow, because he's coming with. We're gonna go snowboard, and then yeah, come back down, maybe Tattoo Friday, I don't really know yet. Yeah, and then Sunday we have a drop. Sunday we have King Kong. The hoodies are a little different this time. We're going a little bit longer. They're actually a little bit nicer, because I had some issues with manufacturing, and then um, long tees return, I believe I said, but that'll be Sunday, 10 a.m., King Kong drop. And that's it, I'm out of here for the day. I'll get ready to respond to uh, the hate comments that I'm gonna get for a little bit, at least for a little while. And the reason that I have these conversations on Twitter, some people say I should ignore it, is it's fun. I like to talk shit, I like to debate, but I also like reality and logic and you know, calling something accurately when you see it. Uh, calling a spade a spade, if you will. But, all right, I'm out, peace.